Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. So, I generally did enjoy the scene between Megan and AJ. At first, it seemed like it was a little kind of standoffish because, you know, um, you know, she's sitting there walking around and she's looking at the painting and stuff. And AJ's like, um, what the hell are you? Eventually, she introduced herself and he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I heard, you know, I kind of heard about, you know, you, um, you know, you getting released and stuff like that. I'm also just like, you heard that she was getting released, but you, like, I just, I don't understand. If you got another Daenerys just sitting there running around, why are you sitting there surprised with how she looks? Like, you would think that he would already be, like, kind of on top of it, knowing that, you know, she's alive and she's in prison and stuff like that. So why are you sitting there looking like, who are you? Um... Again, things seem kind of standoffish to the point, but Megan is like, yo, listen, you're going to want me as an ally because, you know, with the mirrors and I get a, you know, I get a vote, you may need my vote. And right then and there, this dude changed his tune so fast. He was like, oh, you know, we sit there and throw a party. You know, it'd be really great. So, you know, they, they toast and everything like that. And eventually he calls up Tony. Now I'm not gonna lie. I really did. I really did enjoy the scene between Tony and um, Anna. Anna's not there talking to Nicole, and Anna's not there checking up on Nicole to sit there and see how she's doing. Nicole is like, "Yo, listen, are you in a secure place? Like, are you making sure that nobody's in earshot of you know you hear what's going on?" So of course Tony's like right there, and the minute she hangs up the phone, um, Tony's not there pressing her about like, "So, um, so, 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 who's pregnant?" And Anna was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, um, yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah, I'm pregnant. And Tony's like, uh, wait, what? <laughs> she makes up some sort of BS story about how, oh, yeah, I've been, you know, I got rough to, you know, really help me out or whatever, some, some sort of new drug or whatever. And so at this point, he was like, all right, yeah, I'm happy. He's playing along at this point. He's like, well, you won't be needing that champagne. Also, you know what? I think I'll just sit there and just get rid of all the champagne in the house. And Anna's like, wait, but but other people drank though. Like, ah, oh, what are you talking about? Me and EJ, you know, we're you know we're, we're like Scotch people, whatever. And you know, Johnny loves his beer, and you know, th I think we just get rid of all of it, you know, all the food, or or you know, all the junk food and stuff like that, just really taking away her vices. And eventually, he's like, all right, so so you can you can just really tell me what's going on, or you know, you want to sit there and play the charade. Eventually, he does realize that it is Nicole. It's like, listen, I know that you and her have been really chummy and stuff like that. And now Anna's like, listen, I need you to sit there and keep the secret. He doesn't really sit there and decide if he's going to do it or not, but he does get a call from EJ. Meanwhile, you got Stefan and Gabby sitting there, you know, pretty much kind of celebrating their, their engagement and stuff. Kristen walks up and Gabby just goes off on her. Right? Oh, you know, you try to brainwash him and this, that, and the third. And then she just, I don't know, she just started going into this whole spiel. And I started looking at my phone because she just started getting kind of annoying. But then Stefan was like, yo, listen, you need to chill out a little bit. It reminds her that we need her vote. So what does Gabby do? She acts completely fake, like, oh, you know, just... The, the, the stress of wedding and stuff like that, just plan out this wedding, it's just, just going to be so... Because she was like, hey, listen, I, I'll, you know, I'll be one of your bridesmaids or whatever. She changed the tune real quick. And Kristen was like, all right, here's what you can do for me right now. You let me back into the house. Like, you, you, you own the house, right? Right, stuff. And he was like, oh, well, kind of, I don't really know, but we'll, we'll work something out. Eventually, they all get to the house. And I mean, all of them. And, um, you know, Megan introduced herself to everyone in the, in the room and stuff. Now, at this point, see, here's the thing. It was actually really cool to sit there and have all these demeras in one place, you know, minus chat or whatever, you know, just all in one place. I thought that was a really nice, cool scene. But then what kind of soured it, I guess, a little bit for me was that once again, 
Stefan and EJ are playing this game of, oh, let's sit there and suck up to Megan, you know, sit there and try to get their vote. So it was kind of, eh, they're still playing that dumb game. And it's like, I don't know, maybe part of me is just kind of somewhat over it, you know? It's not terrible. Maybe I may enjoy it another day. Who knows? But I don't know. For today, I was just kind of like, oh, yeah, you... You guys are literally sitting there playing this this game. Okay, okay, yeah. Now I did like the scene between Sloan and um, Nicole, the second time, because Kayla is like, "Yo, listen, I need you to sit there and get a swap. You know, a swap from either donor. It doesn't have to be both. Just one person to kind of eliminate someone." Nicole's like, "Oh man, I have no idea how I'm gonna sit there and get like a cheeks. She needs to get a cheek swab." They're going back and forth, and eventually someone's like, you know what, listen, I'll do you a solid. You know, I, I need I need Eric right now, so I'll do you a solid. You know, we could sit there and do Divide and Conquer. And at first, Nicole was like, ah, oh, I don't really think this is a good idea. Just that in the third, I'm like, yo, you want to sit there and try to, you want to sit there and try to get it from either one of them? You, you want to do that? No, then, then take her out. <laughs> take her out. Um... Eric asked um, Marlena and, and Brady to, um, you know, go to dinner with, with, with Sloan. You know, she's under a lot of stress with her brother and everything like that. He ain't happy that she is representing him, um, representing Colin. But, you know, she's gonna sit, he's going to sit there and stick by her. And eventually Marlena and... Um, and Brady, you know, they, they're you know, like, all right, cool, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Which, again, you know, somebody reminded me, like, back in the day, Marlena wasn't exactly this squeaky clean character that she is now. And on top of that, Nicole is messy as hell. So I'm like, why are you sitting there being so harsh on Sloan? But, you know, Nicole is just, what, she, she's just she's just into the family now? Like, I mean, they don't, they don't share kids or anything like that. You don't got to worry about, like, grandkids or anything like that. So, like, why are you so easy on Nicole for it? But with Sloan, it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, of course, Brady was doing his usual whining, complaining about Kristen and um, Rachel and everything like that. Being like, oh, I have to sit there and realize that me and Kristen were going to be intertwined for the rest of our lives. I'm like, what gave you that idea? Why are you just coming to to, to realizing that now? I, I don't I don't really understand that. Um I sat there and I was like, bro, this is on you. <laughs> I was there like, this is on you. There was a time period where you and Kristen, you were ride or die. I mean, bro, you literally had no problem with Kristen stabbing your grandfather in the heart. Now she's too much for you? I, I just, I don't, I don't get that. It's, it's something about it that's just kind of laughable at this point. It's like, you got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> you gotta be joking. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, and I guess the question is, um, is Tony going to say something to EJ during their whole toast? Because, you know, EJ's giving the toast and Stefan's getting the toast and, um, you know, it's, it's Tony's turn to sit there and give some sort of toast. Or to, to say something. So the question is, is he actually going to sit there and spill the... I don't think he's going to spill the beans, to be honest. I feel like it would just... On one hand, I think if he actually did do it, it would be a shock. I'd be like, all right, we didn't see this coming. Because right now, Wall Smith is just assuming that Tony's not going to say anything. Tony's just going to sit there and make her sweat or whatever, just not say anything. Um, but there's a chance that he could say something. You know, it's a total. Granted, if he did, then it would it would defeat the purpose of Sloan Smith there helping Nicole out. This is why we know that he's not going to say anything. Um, I feel like that's about it. Um, yeah, I feel like that's about it. For Friday's episode, I thought it was actually pretty decent. It was it was interesting. I, I got to sit there and say it was way more interesting than GH. It was way more interesting than GH. Um, 
I really sat there and struggled for a good 20 minutes and they trying to come up with anything that I could to sit there and try to do a review. So, um, I got to sit there and say, I don't think the other soaps are going to be on Monday except for a day. So, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Um, I feel like that's much about it. I might have missed one or two things. But I feel like that's about it for the most part. This was definitely a good episode. Check it out. YNR was actually a pretty decent episode, and BNB was actually a pretty decent episode. The only episode that actually failed was the one that I've been watching since in high school, which is, um, yeah. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.